The last time you saw us, we picked up the jack for our camper that we left in Florida, which was so exciting. Later that night, we went to downtown Elkett City for dinner with friends. We got a lox salad and a pizza with blue crab since that's what Maryland is known for. We finished off with a milkshake before heading into Delaware. Then we took you to a beautiful nature walk and left you off at a very, very noisy Cracker Barrel parking lot. So we spent our second night at Cracker Barrel last night, the same one we were at the first night, and it was still loud, there was still construction, but there was a trucker park next to us, even though at Cracker Barrel literally says no tractor trailers and they're not supposed to be there. Whatever, we didn't, we don't care, we didn't say anything. But anyways, he was there and he had his generator on and it kind of was a lot less annoying than even the construction, so we didn't really mind. And we were staying specifically in that area because we had packages coming. And then we went to the place today because it showed yesterday on Amazon that our packages got like denied and we were like, what is up with that? So we went there this morning to check in with the business that it was going to and he was like, oh yeah, they came, but I couldn't accept them. Amazon doesn't let me accept packages anymore. I don't know, something weird, it seemed pretty sketchy. So we canceled those and now we're gonna have to reroute them to where we're going next. But right now we are headed to get some Philly cheesesteaks and we're very excited because if you have been following us, you know that when we go to a certain area that's known for food, we always try and go and get it. So we have looked up and asked multiple different people where we should go and then we're gonna show you where we end up going when we get there. Hi, we're Ashley and Grayson and we travel full time with our two dogs and our cat. Our Home on Wheels is a Ford F-250 with a Sirius 820 truck camper. If you love adventures, amazing views, and exploring new places, consider subscribing to our channel. We also show you the everyday reality of living this lifestyle. Follow along as we continue to live our life on the road and share it with you. Trust you. We're from Florida. I just want the best thing. Anything else? Um, I think that's it for now. It's gonna be fourteen fifty-eight. All right, y'all got the cheesesteak. Add grilled onions. I literally just asked the lady, "What is the best thing to get here?" And she said, "I got you." So we got it. I think it was fourteen fifty-eight. If you can see that. And you know who you are. We just met you over outside the restaurant. You guys are cool people. We do appreciate the kind words. But now we're gonna go in. Whoa. Whoa. This is what we're looking at. They cut it in half and I didn't know. Look at that freaking thing. What's the verdict? What's happened since Philly cheesesteaks? He's cold. Oh. Sorry, that's my East Coast song. The one that I like to sing when there's no parking spots or no RV parks or nowhere to go. But yeah, so we were talking to this guy at the Philly Cheesesteaks. They were really good. Definitely recommend John's pork roast, roast pork, whatever it's called. But we came to the Walmart that was right around the corner that a lot of people have stayed at supposedly. When I Overlander, it's called Walmart Car Park. Last day was 10, 9, 21. And I think they wrote a review and never left because people seem to have moved in here. And yeah, I mean, it's not really sketchy. There's like, you know, a, sem a couple, a semi or two, and then there's like five RVs. But two of them look like they live here. One guy that's here literally has a trash can. So I don't know if he like lives here full time. Lives here full time or what? And then there's also like just trash and stuff everywhere. Sorry, this is And Oreo is. really wants to be in the video. We've only like put him to the side like five times telling him to stop. So he says if he acts cute that you'll subscribe. So make sure you subscribe right now as he plays with his leash. <laughs> so yeah, and there's, there's a couple things to do in Philly. We're just not really sure which ones we want to do. So we're definitely, I think, going to this market thing and then we need to figure out where we're staying. And so we'll show you the market and we'll tell you the update on where we're staying. But currently, we're not staying anywhere. Yeah, so we were assuming we we're gonna stay here and people definitely do stay here, but do we wanna stay here? 
Not so much. Grayson said it doesn't look sketchy to me. It looks sketchy and I'm not interested in staying here. Um, but it's hard because there, a lot of the places in the city don't really look the best to stay. So basically right when you leave Philadelphia, you get into Trenton, which we heard is kind of like meh, you know, not the best. There's also not that many places to stay. And then after that, between Trenton and New York, there's like an opening, but then there's just nowhere to stay. So... You know, you know just as much as we do at this point. We're just gonna go to the market, pretend like everything's fine, and we have somewhere to stay, and then we'll figure it out when the time comes. Well, realistically, we do have somewhere to stay. It's on the back of our truck. <laughs> we just need to figure out where it's gonna be parked. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> We've been driving around the city trying to find parking. It's literally a Thursday afternoon. You would think it wouldn't be as busy as it is, but it's extremely busy and we haven't been able to find anywhere to park. And we also only have 26 miles to empty and there's no gas station around. So we're probably going to drive around one more time and see if we can find parking. But if not, I think we're kind of just going to move on. There was a couple different things that we wanted to see, but they're all in the same area. So if we can't find parking for one of them, we're not going to be able to find parking for any of them. Who knows? the love sign and on the way back we came here because we're close to the car and we're like let's walk around and see if we actually want to get anything because when we first came in we still weren't hungry because we just had that sub but there is this cookie place called four street cookie and i guess because they're about to close all cookies are one dollar so we're probably gonna get one or two cookies share them and try them out can't beat it for one dollar All right, we ended up getting three. I said one or two, and then we got three. So I'm gonna show you what we got. We got a dipped one that has peanut butter inside. And then we got a pumpkin spice. Smells really good. And then lastly, we got a s'mores. I know we're on our last cookie, but how are they? We definitely ate them in going up order. S'mores, pumpkin, and cinnamon, and then the peanut butter. Peanut butter dipped. It's so good. I think that we, I think it's chocolate dip with peanut butter chocolate chips on top with a peanut butter cookie. Whatever it is. It's amazing. It's and amazing. it's like so thick, but we definitely ate them in the right order. Yeah. We just heard a really loud noise when we're sitting in the truck. And I think someone might've been trying to get into the back of the camper. Grayson just went out there. He's talking to the guy in the truck. I think it was the wind. Really? Yeah, I thought that we were getting broken into. But it was just the wind. Did that guy say something to you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking to the person next to you. Yeah. This is where we ended up. Planet Fitness. Welcome to Jersey. We've tried going to a couple of different places and there was either no one else sleeping there or we just didn't feel like it was going to work out. So there is a semi here, and usually Planet Fitness is when they're 24 hours, it's fine, but a lot of them that we passed were not 24 hours, and so we don't usually attempt to stay at those ones. So we're here for the night. I think it's gonna be fine and good. It's pretty cold tonight, so I'm really looking forward to sleeping with this chilly weather. It's definitely starting to feel like fall. And yeah, so I think it's gonna be good sleep. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. The bridge in front of us said 10-8. And then we had, a, we thought we had to turn around and then a trucker was like, it's actually 13 foot. So I'm going to get in the ladder and check. Kind of scary with all these cars coming by. <sighs> all right. I'm going to have to get off, the, off of the video to call Grayson. My heart's pounding. I was 
was like up there and we were driving and there was so many people behind me. But we ended up having like a foot and a half and then we got through and I'm like, okay, great, we're through. And now there's another bridge in front of us. I think we're gonna turn in front of it in case that was the 10-8 bridge. But I don't think so. The guy was like, it's actually 13 foot. You'll be fine, like the truck driver. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you what though. My heart is pounding. <laughs> What's up? Just hopping on this vlog real quick. We've been trying to get the batteries to charge. We have like how much percent, babe? We're at 56.1. Do you remember what we got down to this morning? Like 17, right? We'll be getting low. <laughs> so we hit like three, two or three um, cloudy days in a row. Kind of did us, did us uh, bad. It did us dirty, man. It did us dirty because oh. we were cooking and stuff still and then we weren't charging. So where are we currently? What's been our situation? How's our boondockers welcome going? Mm -hmm. There are like none. There's not a lot where around are we? here. We are in New Jersey. What area of New Jersey? I don't really know. We're near Newark, but we're kind of like just northwest of New Brunswick, I think they call it. Yeah. If I said Brunswick, New Brunswick. We did one night last night, our first night in New Jersey, and we stayed at a Planet Fitness at 24 hours. We just kind of kept driving, and then we went to a spot, looked at it, then we drive, weren't interested in it, looked at another spot. And, we, and when she says spot, she means parking spot. Yeah, literally parking lot. So it's like, does this parking lot look good or does it look sketchy? Is it a good one or not so good? So we ended up at a 24-hour planet last night, and it was fine. It was in a good area, and we felt safe. And it was cold. So cold. It got down to like 59, and the high today has been like 60. 64. So it's been super cold, which has been nice because we can just open the windows and not sweat inside. And if you watched our video on essentials with the fan, we actually haven't been using it and it's still been hard to kind of get some battery. But we're gonna make a little lunch here. Brunch, late dinner, early <laughs> dinner. I don't what know time what is it? it? I don't even know what time it's, it is. It's uh, 521. So an early like snack dinner thing. And then we're gonna go back to Panera and work a little bit more. We'll show you where we stay tonight, where we're gonna shower. It's been like two days. We ran out of baby wipes. There's a lot going on that we haven't filmed. And it's not because we don't want to. It's just sometimes we forget. We're just enjoying the weather and just enjoying life. We were, had a slow morning at Cracker Barrel the other morning. And I was like, man, this is what it's all about. Staying at Cracker Barrel. But it was a slow, nice morning. But yeah, we'll see you guys in all the things. All right, this is like the worst thing to do. And I do it every time. And I'm like, we should just buy a can opener. And we're having beef with green beans from a can. <laughs> And we make sure we get the green beans that literally just have water. Not all the other crap. And it's every time and I regret it. Every time. So typically, we open the window. But in this case, I'll open the back door. And do a little reachy poo. Right into the grass on there, not just into a parking spot. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have, our green beans, beef, beans. Gonna put some of this cheese powder on it. And it ended up using like 5%, so definitely not horrible. We are headed to a little park in the area to do a little walk. Doesn't look like anything too exciting, but we wanted to be able to get the dogs out on a walk. And it's nice outside. We got the beanies pulled out. It's getting to that type of temperature Check where the beanies start coming out. Torklift, 45th anniversary collector's item. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. Mine's not. Mine's just like Walmart or something. I'm not really sure. I forgot what I got But I do that. like it. It's very comfy. Oreo's got a sweater on. Brayden has a matching sweater, the same one that Oreo's wearing. But I don't know where it went. I, we can't find it. So we're thinking we might have lost it on accident. In so we'll, house. In our tiny house. We must have lost it. I don't know where it went. But we're going to have to get them some more matching outfits. Or maybe not matching. They can be individual. But they are really cute when they're matching and everyone loves it. the trail right now and there's this sign showing Florida's this way, Maine's that way, and we are on the greenway from Florida to Maine. Tonight's spot is a little interesting. So as you see there's a bunch of truckers. It's an epic spot. We found it on Ireland,er and the person wrote Simi, S-I-M-I -I, galore. Simi, Simi galore. <laughs> but it's semi galore and it's because there's a trucking company right behind us and they park their semis on this road. But come with us. Come with us. And you'll see where we're parked. If you look behind me over there, kind of like where those lights are, I'm looking at the screen. If you look all the way over there, there's some lights, and that's a Costco. And here's where we're parked. There's a semi truck. There's a semi truck. All up and down this road, there are semi trucks. And we stayed in sketchier spots. I think this one's fine. 
there was a review for this on Overlander and they said it was fine. They stayed in the 37 foot class A and ran their generator all night long. So I'm not worried about it at all. It's nice and chilly out tonight. Got a shower at LA. LA is actually trying to rip us off. Um, we've been to a couple signature clubs and they usually just let us go by. We went to this LA fitness. It looked completely normal, like the ones back home in Florida. So like they're pretty nice. And they're like, hey, uh, this is a signature club and do you want to be charged with $10 for the day? Like, what are you talking about? They're like, well, if, since you're not um, a signature member, it's another $10 per visit or another $7 per month. And we're like, well, we didn't know. So like, don't worry about it. We'll just leave. And they're like, oh, you can just come today for free though. And so we're like, um, okay. And then she was like, strolled back on our account and goes, oh, it looks like you've been to a signature club before because you've been charged. I was like, well, we never told we were charged when we went to these clubs and she's like, Oh, well, yeah, well, they charged you. I don't know. Yeah, Planet is definitely superior to LA for travel, but LA is definitely pretty cool to go to like a different environment opposed to just like purple and yellow all the time. But we're gonna go inside, make some dinner, and go to sleep, and we'll see you in the morning. And my hands are full of stuff, so see you then.